What's going on, guys? This is Ryan with the RK Outpost, and it seems like every time Alec Baldwin speaks, it doesn't go well for him. It's yet another PR disaster, because every time this man speaks, it doesn't really align with things that he said previously. Every time he publicly postures for PR reasons and says, the most important thing all of us can do is find out what happened to Helena. We need to find out what really happened, and working with the police is tantamount and paramount to what's going on. Yet in reality, he's not cooperating with the police, at least not to the extent that he would like people to believe. Because if he was, he would have already handed over his cell phone. As you can see here, Alec Baldwin still hasn't handed his phone over to New Mexico police. And now Alec Baldwin has released an Instagram video where he, he talks about this stuff and slams people for saying that he's not cooperating with police while recording the video on the very same phone that police are looking for to continue their investigation. Alec Baldwin is an absolute piece of human garbage. Let's watch this. Uh, this is from Jack Posobiec. In a bizarre Twitter rant, or in a bizarre rant, Alec Baldwin just compared his shooting of the cinematographer to January 6th and seemed to blame both on right-wing hate. Of course he did. Let's listen to this absolute lunatic. Um the best way, the only way we can honor the death of Helena Hutchins is to find out the truth. That's what I'm working toward, insisting on, demanding um, that the organizations involved in this investigation uh, do everything in their power, everything in their power to find out what really happened. That Stop right there. I, I am demanding it. It's so important we get to the truth of everything that went down. All these organizations involved, they need to get to the bottom of it. I'm, I want them to do everything in their power. You know what, Alec? They are trying to do everything in their power, and you're not cooperating with them. Now, of course, Alec Baldwin is now in a different jurisdiction, and that's one of the things a lot of us asked was, if we had been in this situation, if we had just shot and killed two people, would the New Mexico police and the New Mexico authorities be totally fine with us just, you know, picking up and going to New York or New Hampshire or traveling around the world wherever when they're very well going to need things from us? I don't think that would be the case for myself, but for Alec Baldwin, no problem. So now, a warrant has been issued in New Mexico. With Alec Baldwin in New York, the jurisdiction hasn't been worked out yet. So Alec Baldwin, while pretending that he's doing everything he can to help this investigation, in reality is sitting there with the very phone they want to see, and he hasn't handed it over yet. That's all that matters. The best way to honor the death of Helena Hutchins is to find out the truth. And um, any suggestion that we're not complying myself and uh, any lawyers I'm working with or what have you is a lie. That's a lie. We're going to, as, as soon as we go through this process, then by all means, we will comply. Oh, oh, then we will comply. But that's the thing. You are trying to tell everyone that I am doing everything I can, everything in my power. That's not true. Now, if this were me, of course, I would absolutely have waited for a warrant for all of these things for them to be specific about what they're looking for. Of course I would have. And now New Mexico has done that. But now you're making them go the extra step, Alec Baldwin, because you actually don't care about finding out anything about the death of Helena Hutchins because you know, in all likelihood, it's not going to end very well for you. Alec Baldwin, just like he did in that interview, continues to lie to people over and over and over again because he is a psychopath. He is a lunatic. We've seen this man assault people in the streets for literally no reason before. Alec Baldwin is a madman. But, um, <clears throat> but I have no worries about that. I have no worries about that. That's all going to work itself out, regardless of what they say in these right wing rag sheets and people who are all about hate. Mm. Um, but setting aside all the, the hate, setting aside all the January 6th of it all, there it is. What is this dude talking about? So l labeling anyone who criticizes you as a right wing rag sheet, as it's all about hate and saying January 6th, what is wrong with this man? This dude is seriously fucking deranged. Alec Baldwin is nuts. Now, he's specifically talking about the New York Post uh, because he does not like the fact that the New York Post has been reporting so much on him like this. Alec Baldwin says he's complying with Russ Probe despite not turning over his phone. 
Uh, Alec Baldwin insisted Saturday he was complying with an investigation that he was yet to turn over his cell phone to New Mexico police. Any suggestion that I'm not responding with requests or orders or demands or search warrants, that's bullshit. That's a lie. As he sat behind the wheel of a parked vehicle and likely used the same cell phone that they're asking for. Baldwin denounced the post in the video, claiming its coverage of the actor's failure to turn over his phone to cops investigating the fatal shooting was lies and bullshit and nonsense. He spent nearly three minutes of the lengthy IG post emphatically pushing back. Uh, he, he said, "Why? there's so many other things going on in the world. Why are they covering me? Why are these people continuing to talk about me? Because Alec Baldwin, if anyone else were in that situation, they would have gotten held accountable long before now. We see a lot of people put in jail for a lot less than what Alec Baldwin did. And he is once again going to any and all lengths, posting videos on Instagram, opening his mouth when his lawyers have probably advised him to shut it and it just continues to make him look worse and worse. A lot of legal experts have spoke out about this. It's not like it's just a right-wing rag sheet. Legal experts have spoke out and said, yeah, it's one thing to say, hey, we're just gonna wait for all of the appropriate documents, and another thing to present yourself as working hand-in-hand, hand, right alongside the police. We're doing everything we can, everything in our power to find out what really happened, when in reality, you are not, because Alec Baldwin is a liar. Let me know what you think about all this in the comments below. Smash a like button, subscribe to the channel, ring the bell for notifications, share this video out there, and I'll talk to you later. Thanks for watching, everyone. And a huge shout out to my patrons. I appreciate you guys so much. Want to follow me on Twitter or Instagram? Check out the description below. You'll find links to my P.O. Box and my Patreon as well. And I'll talk to you guys later.